the young people we work with are just like any other young people, right. except for the most part, they've had a pretty tough start in life. None of them have chosen to become homeless, family issues, uh, unemployment, lack of education, all sorts of things can lead to those results in somebody's life. Um, young people are often therefore labelled uh, and they have to cope with a great deal of stigmatisation. They'll be called lazy, hoodies, yobs, uh, just seen very negatively. The press doesn't help at all and um, looking for scapegoats very often. And our young people end up being those scapegoats, unfortunately. But, you know, they are just like every other young person. They're ambitious, they want to succeed, they hope to have a home and a family and go on holiday and do all the big things, all the normal things that anybody else does. Um, and very often they want to give back because they've had some bad experiences and they've learned from those experiences and they want others to benefit from those experiences. So many of our young people, um, if you talk to them, will say, I want to be a project worker like the people I work with at DePaul uh, when I come out through this, when I'm out through the other end. So they're lovely, good, caring people for the most part um, who have been misunderstood. Young people are very often blamed for the choices they make. But the young people we work with most often haven't made a choice at all. Uh, they're just living the life that results from the circumstances they find themselves in. Nobody chooses to be abused as a child. Nobody chooses to grow up in a violent household. Nobody chooses to run away from a violent country with nothing but the clothes they're standing up in. These are just situations that have drastically affected young people. There's a number of ways that people could get involved and uh, bring something of themselves to this. Um, we're always on the lookout for hosts um, to join the Night Stop uh, programmes. Um, you need to be somebody with a spare room who has a care and concern for young people who might otherwise be homeless. Um, which of course would take you through all the processes you needed to go through to achieve that. There's longer term hosting opportunities. We also look for, for um, young people to be placed with people for up to perhaps two years um, in our community hosting program. Um, so that's a bit more of a commitment, a bit like fostering, if you like, uh, an adolescent.